Wow. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show, B. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Um, notice that there's a filter that will go away. So I have a feeling when I try to open the door, some spooky is going to happen. Because you scary. maybe don't notice the filter, but... Guys, spooky scary. All right, so on the last okay, episode of Dragon Ball Z... Uh, you got weird shoulders. Yeah, she's got a weird, she's got a weird gait. On the last episode of Dragon Ball Z, we found out that the... Ed, Ed, that Alfred Kinsey, the renowned sexologist, had given. Hmm, that was queer. Don't really require that in my life ever again. Um, yeah, right there. That's the one. Alex discovers a pulp novel written by one Dr. Edwin Lindsay amongst the books on the shelf. This is where the tome of eternal darkness indicated that something of value was hidden behind this book. Thank goodness it's still here. Oh my God! It's the heart of the crazy thing. With the book removed, a secret cache... Cache? Secret cache... Really? What is it? Ca ca I think they're both right. Secret cache is revealed. Inside is the heart of Mantarok. Encased in a glass to protect the world from its corrosive energies. Should Alex claim it? Probably no, knowing what we know, but yeah. You know what? <laughs> sure, why, why not? don't you just grab that? I'm just gonna grab it. You never know when the, mess of, when the essence of Mantarok is gonna be. These books contain the history of the Roivis family, genealogy, birth and death records, deeds and writs. The Roivis history is a troubled one. As Mediterranean immigrants, the, wow, this is long. Uh, the early Roivis were shunned by early settlers in North America. Suspected of witchcraft, the Roivis were convicted during the witch hunts, forcing them into hiding. As memories faded, the Roivis rebuilt their lives, apparently to incredibly rich people. I was sure that was going to have a chapter. Maybe we need to use it or check it. Manrock's heart pulses with unholy life, although the corpse got itself festers elsewhere power resides in this thing you should probably use it okay Good. i'm glad i'm glad i can't use that oh you have a journal entry i think no that's ancient uh i love this snub nose revolver let's read about it this is a smith and wesson model 37 one of the smallest revolvers in the smith and wesson family this double action revolver is capable of firing a 38 special ammunition which allows for extra stopping power or less if you're a real person <laughs> This is Gladys. I don't mean to read that. I meant to equip it. All right, so now creepy stuff keeps happening. Yeah, now it's real spooky. Scary. Now I don't know where to go, which is bad. Oh, I can undo the uh, shield on the wall. Did I already do that? No, I think we tried, and for some reason it wasn't working. I didn't, because I, I used the wrong spell before. <laughs> That's not all right. Um... Stop, stop doing stuff. Straight up, stop doing stuff. Everything's really bad. It's his camera's angles, dude. Looks like I already did it. No, I didn't. So now we can dispel Oh, shields. yeah, you're doing this. By the way, um, I am going to quick do some things here because I didn't do it before. We're going to set a damage field. Um, if I was a damage field, I would do... I think you want to do blue because you're mostly fighting against red enemies. So blue seems to be the ones that come up more often than not. I'm going to say left is my damage field. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's my damage field. Uh, yeah, right. <clears throat> um, and we also got... What else do we got? Anything else I should care about? I really don't need an enchant item constantly, but... No. I do, however, need to cast a spell right now, which is a spell. Cast this. We're going to say blue. Yeah, blue counts as red. Nailed it. Whoa, it was a thing the whole time. I don't know how it's floating. <coughs> are you real? Is this a game where we're really going to question how things are floating? You're right. As the magical window fades away, the piece of parchment that the maiden was holding is left behind, floating in midair. It appears to be a chapter page. Should you retrieve it? Obviously. Guys, Tom C and I are about to break into the spookiest of sodas. For some Cranberry thing. line. Did we get cranberry line? Uh, that's what I got. And you said you wanted the same thing. So. All right, that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, guys, we're back here. We're not here yet. Well, we're getting close. Also, we haven't been here yet. No one knows back. Oh. Is that a, uh, is that a thing? Sorry. Yeah. Come on, man. It's just a soda. I'm having trouble for some... There we go. I was not getting good gripsies on it. A lot of Pargons there. That was like a niner. It's a ninth level Pargon. You straight up summoning... Chaturga, I think. He's summoning somebody. I don't think it's Chaturga. 
Oh, uh, guys. What uh, the fuck kinda, is that? Kind of regret being on this side. I am not your food today. I am your master. Your task is to guard the artifact before you. From the Patriots. No one touch it. It's also behind a window, so try and be careful with that. Okay, I guess I'll just stay half here. You're real lucky I know English. Alright. <coughs> here we go. Heresy. In Europe, during the time of the Inquisition. Actually, I do remember this. Paranoia and corruption ran deep. Oh, it ran deep, son. It ran deep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rampant. I'm always worried about Delvery. corruption extended far beyond mortal knowledge. But they still inquisited the heck out of it. Just for fun, mostly. Because why not? Uncovered an interesting incident. Incident. A Franciscan monk named Paul Luther. Franciscans are from where? The region of Amiens. Uh, the of the Inquisition. Well, I, they should be Italians. Under martial law. I mean, the from France. Are they Franks? From the town no, because it's named after St. Francis. Hmm. For I believe. I believe Franciscans are for, of the order are the order of St. Francis. That makes sense to me. Is he the one of Assisi? Yes. Welcome to Ublier Cathedral. I can't pronounce that. We believe that our sacred order can bestow hospitality on our Franciscan brethren. I wonder if there are like rivalries in the, like between orders in the Catholic Church. Probably. Because I feel like the um, I feel like the Jesuits are always on the outs with everybody for some reason. Maybe. For some reason, I've always I've always felt that the, the Jesuits have a bad reputation in the Catholic Church. Not like a bad reputation. Well, that's the word on the, added on the town. Well, not like a bad reputation, no, but like, I feel like the other, oh. Alright, Steve Plum, get out of here. Yeah, bad touch. This is a bad date. It appears to be a peaceful hamlet. It appears to be. But deviancy is secreted in the most deceptive places. Did they say where you are? Which I believe a Amiens, is the France. With Amiens. Uh, Amiens. Then I there. wish you luck in your search. The Inquisition does not need luck, Brother Luther. Faith and purity are our guides. So this guy's clearly German, because Paul Luther is about as German as a name as you can get. I think it's Martin Luther. King? What? Junior? You had a dream? You this guy's name is Paul Luther. Alright. Alright, so, everything's great. We're in France. Yeah, I forgot, totally forgot about this guy. I don't remember him at all. Mm, you're gonna remember it. A lot uh, of stuff, uh... Cause... Let's see what's going on up here. Yeah. See, the thing is, though, I like the Jesuits because they're the Marines of God, which is always a sweet name. Cause, uh, this is a, a view you might be familiar with. Not super familiar with. Alright. My sanity was a little lower, you would be. Because that was one of the things we talked about earlier. Neat. Like this a lot. That glowy ass sword. By the way, why does that have to be writing? Here we go. So far, I have no real objective. Yeah, just walking around. Just exploring the Being an in Inquisition. I didn't think the Inquisition went all the way up into France. A thick braided rope serves to ring the church bell. Usually, it is a custodian's task to ring the bell at the appropriate time. Perhaps he will be along later to ring it? To ring it? Oh, that's a bell up there. Alright, got it. This game really does get you with cam camera angles, though. You're always like, there could be something right where I'm running. Yeah. Dude, that's how it is in Verdun. Because, like, the, um... Not like with the camera angles, exactly, but since the... battle none. But since the, the trenches are also twisted, yeah. every time you round a corner, you're like, is there going to be a German there? Am I going to have to shoot a German? I don't want to shoot a German. Yeah, I can see that being scary. It gets Sorry. real spooky. Not <laughs> not in the way that this is spooky. It's more of a life or death. Startling. Life or death spook. Door's, the door's locked. locked. That really helps me out there. Here we go. Everything's doing fine. Dude, I wish I have Well, actually, I've been to old cathedrals like this before, but like... I want to go to more old cathedrals like this. Dude, they're all over the place. In I, Europe. I was about to say, they're not here. That's the problem. Oh, oh crap. That guy. For the love of God. Is that the guy we just talked God. to? No, I don't Help. think so. Come quickly. I don't think that's... that's mo Yeah, nope, that's, that's Molestus. <laughs> Augustus Molestus. A murder. A murder most foul. That's what clear. What heresy is this? I, I found him lying here. Oh, that's a guy's voice. I called the guards. Ah, 
Is this our first suspect? Make sure no one touches the body. It must be examined for signs of devilry. By the way, guys, that guy is definitely this, pious. Yeah. Man, make sure he doesn't leave the cathedral. We will question him later. You can't question an inquisitor. He's not an inquisitor. He's a Franciscan. All right. Who is to say that you did not commit this murder? Good point. If you trust in the Almighty and you are indeed innocent, then you will have nothing to fear. I think that's the same guy who did, um, not that guy, not Augustus, the the guy you're playing as. I think that's the same guy who's Doc Mitchell slash General Tullius. Oh, maybe. They sound kind of the same. Don't have a weapon yet. Not so keen on that. You do have a fancy ass gem. <sighs> the painting captures Paul's attention. A small emerald disguised as part of the painting glints in the candlelight. That is poor dis disguise. <laughs> that is pretty obvious. As though it has some value beyond being a precious gem. I meant yes. I'm also a thief, apparently. Heard that Are door you here close. To pass sentence on me? No, I'm here to free you. Idiot! You are in incredible danger. Yeah, I got this that. This cathedral used to be a place of peace. Now many strange things happen here. I don't want you to end up like. Dude, here's a secret. What do you mean? This game is really good. It's like really. Good. I really like this game. I'm I'm really enjoying playing it. Yeah. It's really really good. I hope, like, I hope the audience enjoys it, and I'm glad. I know it's stupid, but I'm glad we're reading it. Well, the thing is, like, I feel like we're really savoring it. The thing is, like, it does a really good job with Lovecraftian horror. I feel because like Lovecraftian horror isn't like jump scares. And it's not like gory and stuff. It's like that really slow descent into madness yeah. and like questioning your own reality. And this game does that really well. I feel. No, that's why everyone loved it. It's weird. There's never anything else about this. There's never like a sequel, not even like a spiritual sequel. Well, that's that's because Silicon Knights exploded, right? Yeah, there were Knights made Silicon. This has to stop. Then be it on your own head, Luther. Luther's just trying to bring Fine, justice. You see a lot of people in this game who, like, are very uh, goal-oriented. Yeah. Who have, like, a thing they want to accomplish. They're not just, like, people who are cool with letting things go. Like, the oh. Kareem guy went crazy to do stuff. Yeah. Dude, so did Anthony. Let's talk about, about goal-oriented people. Let's talk about Anthony. That's you meant to say. Oh, yeah, that's true. But, like, he was like, yeah, it'll take, like, 200 years to get through this whole area, but that's fine. I don't care. You gotta warn Charlemagne. Yeah, it's true. So that's the thing, is this game, like, for Lovecrafty and stuff, the person always has to be passionate. Oh boy. Well, it's not even, it's not even passion, it's obsession. That's really what, what it, what it does. Did I really not get anyone else? Oh yeah, because Lindsay didn't die. No. Guys, we talked about this a little bit before today, but it's, it's hilarious to me that, um... Like nothing bad happened to Kinsey at all. I'm it not was sure he. I'm not sure he got the book. Yeah, I think he might have. I don't remember either. All right, so now I'm here. But like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, yeah, Edward, and then Edward Lindsay escaped the temple with that with a woman with a dame on one arm and a, the heart of Mantarock on the other. He came prepared and then he left. <laughs> so let's do it. It's a big, nice church. A 2,000-year-old lich tried to get the best of him, but all Kinsey was two steps ahead. Guys, so why is there, uh, you know, maybe there's a piano here. Maybe there's, think about a piano at home. Playing the organ is a daunting challenge for someone like Paul who has no musical talent. Paul could probably play the organ if there was some music to play. Guys, think about the mansion. Why am I thinking about the mansion? Oh, because there was a piano in the mansion, too. Piano. You're going to learn a piano song, and you're going to play it later. That's smart, dude. you got to think about this stuff. So things are connected like that. You, Because like you want to know where you're going to go next, you have to think about it. That is smart. A woodcut shows an act of blasphemy. A host of demons prey upon humans like they were playthings. Disemboweled by mocking demons, eaten or tortured by other carnal deviant acts. Oh, a playable character's timeline of eternal darkness dude don't spoil it i'm not spoiling it but god that is, that makes me happy that is sexy a heavy wooden chest sits against the room's wall it appears to be old morn should you open it of course you should what's that a crossbow lies within the Sweet. open chest a crossbow lies within some people are about to be crossbowed the rack carries robes and cloaks for ceremonial use as paul draws the robes back something tumbles from inside podium key Unlock that p -p -p podium. P -p -p podium. All right. 
I like your podiums and I like you a lot. That was a bunch of songs. Anyway, I'm just a sweet, sweet man. His only goal was to have fun. I didn't notice there was a locked podium anywhere, but... The altar... Oh, yeah, that's who it is. Okay. I'm trying to read. The altar is bereft of holy adornment. No crucifix, no Bible, no sacrament of any kind. Paul is disturbed by the sight. What faith does the order practice? Go on. Okay, What's so... Yeah, I thought it was. Classic. Uh... Hello. I know we, we talked about this, about how, like, all of the voice actors in this are all from Medigar Solid. Just run down a few. Uh, and Alexandra Rovis, we already talked about. She is Jennifer Hale, who is Naomi. Weird she might have been some other people. But she's she's everyone ever. Pius Augustus is Richard Doyle, a.k.a. Big Boss and Solidus. Elia is Kim, my guest, a.k.a. Mei Ling. Oh, neat. Uh, Civil podium and lectern provides a platform for a priest giving blah, blah, blah. Is a drawer. Anthony is Cam Clark, aka Liquid Snake. <laughs> Kareem is Reno Romano. I don't know who that is. Diary page lies inside a thing. Oh, he's a uh, Louis Louis Sarah. That's rad. I like that. But well, I gotta brief read this thing too because it's gonna be important. The cathedral's tabernacle is fashioned Sorry. from aged varnished mahogany. Its doors are closed, and there doesn't appear to be any way of opening them manually. That might come up later. Also, I need you to read this diary we just got. I finally arrived at Amiens, and my pilgrimage to see the hand of Jude draws to a close. I cannot wait to lay my eyes upon the sacred relic. My journey here has been arduous, and it shall be good to relax for a while in this peaceful village. Amiens is full of good people, strong in their faith, and their role in our world. If a blight of witchcraft is present in this world, then I doubt it is an Amiens. Who wrote this? I don't know. Uh, Brother Andrew. Good oh, the guy who was killed. Are we sure that was the guy who killed? Yeah, that's what the, the creepy guy who tried to save you was. Uh, Maximilian Ro Roivis is Edward Hootkins, who I don't know who that is. Didn't say. Paul notes that the door to the old tower is locked. Perhaps custodian might have it. Great. Well, if I were to be a custodian, I'd go to the bell. Oh, Edwin Lindsay is effing Volgan, which is sweet. It's awesome. Although, we don't know. I'm going to check if the custodian's there. There's no reason to assume he is. Look, he gets tired. All right. Okay, should I go further down or should I go back to the thing? I should go further down. Yeah, I think further down. Because if we heard a bell, we would go. Paul Luther, the, a.k.a. this guy, is Paul Paul Eiding, or Eating, who is Roy Campbell. That's who it is. I like that. Um. You know what? Before we get too much further here, let's equip that. This isn't going to be good. I have my crossbow bolts. No reason to keep those here. Dun, dun. The Spartan bed shows how the Order treats its visitors. There's no sign of the Order's own quarters, and this chills Paul to the bone. The only man that doesn't need a bed is a dead one. Bum, bum, bah. This desk bears a leather-bound book. Book of Relic... Reliquaries? Reliquaries. Is that right? Yep. This is the Forgeries of the Reliquaries, dating back to the th late 13th century, exquisitely illuminated and bound with hard leather. It reads, Doubtless, or you should maybe read this in quotes. Doubtless, many obscure orders requiring more income than can be garnered from the tithe resorted to forging ancient, ancient relics to bring people from the outside of the religion to their diocese and thus become more lucrative. While it could be said that a false hope is still hope, relics such as Cuthbert's jawbone, the hand of Jude, and the infamous firebone through it of Carnat, while being forgeries, deceive righteous unjustly. Their existence as true relics is utmost heresy. Are those all real things? Uh, that I couldn't tell you. Hmm. Okay, that reminded me of something that I can't talk about on the show. But you'll... Yeah, all right. We're gonna we're gonna get into a whole, all kinds of things. All right, still a little. I'm definitely scared. If I was a monster, this is the place I would be. Dude, I believe in you. What the fudge is this supposed to be? It's, it's bellows. The bellows, dude, nice. The bellows mechanism supplies the organ upstairs with air. Requires an expert hand and attention to keep in working order. I'm gonna grab this here, mace. 
Near the organist, steel maze is mounted on the back wall by means of display armature. I'm obviously taking that steel and m -m -m melee equipping it. Because melee weapons are clearly the best in this game. Well, I'm going to grab these crossbow bolts. I was a little worried I'd be stuck with a stupid crossbow. M -m 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 Here we go. Some, some merry monks. <laughs> A wine cask used for maturing wine. The wine inside this one must be very strong, for it seeps through the cask, filling the air with a heady aroma. All right. Oh, the guy who goes... Okay. You know this one, Sax, man. <laughs> Dude, the guy who just... No, oh, that's too bad. There's no way I could You really tried. The guy who does Jaturga is um, Peter Stillman. Dude, nice. I can't believe there's not more. I'm going to go red. Are you sure? Do you need any health? Nah. You haven't taken any damage so far. You're right. You're right. I can't believe that it's not uh, Fred Tatascor. Yeah, right? He's got to be in there, game, by the way. I didn't see him. You know what? Let's, let's see how good of a, of a crossbowman. I mean... All right. Great. I'll be honest, I wasn't super expecting that to work. <laughs> Not because not because you you don't have the skill to hit them, but because I didn't think the game would let you. What are they doing? They're stretching, guys. And then they just exploded. Yeah, that was cool, guys. They're gonna explode again on the next thrilling episode of Sons of Video. We'll see you.